What's up guys, San Joaquin Valley Transparency. We out here, we see some deputies. I'm out here with Nate Skates. Make sure you guys go subscribe. So if you guys can see across the street that way. Yeah, hey. Let me, let me give you my, they're doing a homeless suite. Mm -hmm. That's my car, check us out on YouTube, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. Hey, start recording the police, bro, and start uploading. I'll help the channel grow. They're doing a homeless suite, guys. Press the settings. Press the, there's a like pencil button. Go to advanced settings. Go to horizontal. Every time now, dude. Yeah. Looks like they're doing a homeless suite, guys. Damn, she's got a dog and all kinds of shit. More than likely gonna call the dog pound. Look at these guys over here. What do these guys work for? What's up, Reluctant Prophet? What's up? What's up, Joey? Good to see everybody in here. Do you guys do the cleanup work and stuff? Oh, uh, the county will. Oh, the county will? What do you guys do? Uh, code enforcement. Code enforcement? Yeah. Are they doing like a homeless sweep right now? What was that? Was, are they doing a homeless sweep or something? I don't know. We're just here to clean this up. Oh, okay. So. Hey, man, if I get your name and badge number right quick? Uh, not right now. Not right now, huh? If I, hey, you mind if I get your name real quick? Oh, yeah. Would you just for documentation purposes? You work for the uh, county as well. I do. Mind if I get your name? What do you need, man? Just for document. We're, we're just documenting what's going on in Bakersfield, California. You can contact uh, Kern County Code Compliance at six six one eight six two eight six zero three. Eight six zero three. Information you guys need, you can contact our office. Right, it's not in your guys' policy to identify if asked by the public. Uh, I'm not sure at the moment. I can't say. Oh. So. You want to contact your office. All right, man. How you doing today? Yeah, bud. Yeah. Did you not want to give your name for the camera? Sure, man. You want, you want my name? Yeah. Brian Sullivan. Brian Sullivan? Yes. I appreciate it, man. Thank you. Yeah. So do you know if they're doing a, like a homeless sleep right now or something? They're doing a little sweep, yeah. Little yeah. sleep? Uh, you know, try to... Anybody has warrants right now? It's so is it like a, a stop and frisk or a stop and ID or what? Like are they just I don't know. How, ID that's on? completely how law enforcement. You know, because the Fourth Amendment it, still applies. You know what I mean? Like the Fourth and Fifth Amendment, the First Amendment, and all that. All that still applies the Fourth Amendment. So it just kind of seems a little odd. But they can't just they can't just pull up 
jump out and search them for drugs and, and demand identification. They can't do that. It's against the law. But I mean, I'm just trying to see what's going on. Here. I'm not saying that's what they're doing. I'm just trying to document what's happening, you know? Gotcha. I heard it was a homeless sleep, so I mean, I think a homeless sleep still needs to be done properly, if I'm not mistaken. You know, you right. can't, you can't, you can't overstep, you can't jump the Fourth Amendment and say, American law, American, you know what I mean? This, it's our, uh, it sucks, but for some people, like, you know, cops in their position, they can't just go around doing that, but oftentimes we see that happen, so we just want to make sure it's, it's documented and they're doing their job properly. Yeah, no doubt, bro. Yeah. We're not political or nothing like that. We don't like swing either way, left or right, red or blue, none of that stuff. We just kind of try to document it. And... Hey, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. It seemed like he was trying to act kind of hard at first and I just, he kind of stood, you know, stepped to me and I just stood my ground and didn't back up like tripping, homie. Another Kern County Sheriff just pulled in. So it looks like we have we have deputies across the way as well. Should I leave Nate right here, guys, to keep documenting here and me go across the way over there where there's more deputies? Give me a one if you think I should go across the street and leave Nate here. Guys, I got enough ones. I'm going across the street. Nate's think Nate's case is gonna be right here. Hey, you guys smash that thumbs up for me if you if you will that'll definitely help the channel you guys got a channel you guys can share this i would greatly appreciate it Hey guys, I'm gonna make you a promise. The day I hit a million subs, I'm gonna come out and record. Cause I'll never stop, man. I don't give a shit if I become a multi-millionaire. I'll still come out and record, guys. Shit is important for me to hold cops accountable. So I'm trying to figure out what's going on out here. I don't know if they're doing like a homeless sleep or something. <sighs> Let's all make that promise. When all of us hit, we got channels. If all of us hit 100K subs, 
500k subs a million subs on that day come out and cop watch man who's with me on that press one <laughs> what's up john eagle that's okay gorilla mag x he's uh he's he always takes his long breaks and he's always busy doing other stuff but he's all right i text we text each other every now and then sometimes we talk on the phone but bay area transparency is good guys he's taken many long breaks before hell yeah guys canada cop watch what's up brother got it redneck hell yeah john eagle you'll get there in no time show me audits what's up C-Town Free Press, uh, email me one of your videos, man, that you think will help get you some subs, and I'll share it for you, and I'll help promote you. Uh, my email is recordpolicenow at gmail.com. There's, like, deputies all around here everywhere, guys. A homeless sweep, huh? How do they do that, guys? So basically that dude that walked up gave up the whole fucking scoop. Basically they're doing a homeless sweep and rounding up people to see if they got warrants and shit. But how, how is that allowed? The fourth amendment doesn't apply anymore. He's gonna roll up his window right away, watch. Told you. Damn, Canada Cop Watch, yeah, send me that link, bro. I went to a, uh, I went to a social distortion concert last night, guys. That shit was badass. One of my favorite bands. As a, as a kid, I was always broke and I couldn't go see social distortion every time they came to Bakersfield, so. This time I wasn't gonna miss it. I took my boys with me. What a badass fucking day it was. And I bought me a shirt and a hat. Woo Social distortion, guys. Yeah, yeah. I put up a video on my channel. After this, you guys get a chance to go watch it. It's a, uh, a brand new song from Social Distortion never heard before. It was written the day before they, they played it. And it's actually really good. He got diagnosed with cancer. And uh, he ended up writing that song. At the end of the song, man, he kind of wiped his tears a little bit. I was like, fuck, that's bad. bad, bad. So, shout out Mike Ness and everyone at Social Distortion for coming out. But yeah, let's get back to it, guys. Let's go back over here. Yeah, that guy was waving at me. I think he's a streamer or something. He's got like a camera mounted on his car. Could be wrong though. It's probably just the camera, but who knows if he's a streamer. But anyways, guys, let's go back over here. Yeah, True North, I'll check that shit out for sure. Well, some of these ladies, they want to say hi to me or what? Hell yeah. What channel? San Joaquin. You ever watch me? San Joaquin what? Valley Transparency. Valley Transparency? Yeah, check us out. I will. Check it out. We're live right now. All right. I All right. Will. All right. See you. Sorry, man. I apologize, bro. I didn't mean to 
Let me get my YouTube card. We report police. Check us out. <clears throat> Hell yeah. What's up, Valerizzi? Was that you that just passed by in the car? Now this is this is we're in Bakersfield, California, guys. Looks like they're putting them both in there. Yeah, there's there's a uh, sheriff everywhere around here. What was he saying, Nate? That dude dropped a needle right in front of me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Told him to pick it up or what? Yeah. Did he? Hey, if you get close enough, get names and badge numbers. I'm gonna come on this side and try to get the driver to get on that side if you can. Hey, mind if I get your name badge number real quick? Lola, 1637. 1637, mind if I get yours real quick? I already gave it to the other guy, but it's 1679. What's your last name? Clayton. Appreciate it. What's up, Finn? Man, I'm pretty sure they're gonna call the dog pound on those dogs, which is fucking sad. I mean, sucks, dude. I got a soft spot in my heart for dogs, y'all. That's why I fucking got six of them at my house. <laughs> So is that the plan to clean up the streets of Bakersfield is to uh, bypass the Fourth Amendment? Um, now I'm not saying that's what they're doing guys, but pretty much if I'm not mistaken, that's exactly what the guy told me. They're uh, doing a homeless suite and they're checking people for warrants. 
So yeah, guys, like. Bark at the cops, dog. I'm not the one taking your master. Damn, if I had a doggy treat, I'd shoot it to him right now. buy a bag of dog food. Hey, you guys mind if I get your names and badge numbers before you guys head out? Yeah, we have we'll give you two. Rodriguez, 1663. 1663. I think I met you before, right? Yes, like last I appreciate week. you, man. Thank you. Oh. Hey, by any chance, is there an incident number? Uh, there is. Can I get it? Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get a lot of information because like, you're not part of the call. It's going to be on right now. Or you're just recording? Yeah, just... 2024. 2024. Dash 000. Dash 000. 42. 42. 138. 138. Thank you. Oh, poor dog. Oh, that sucks. Damn, I have no cash. I'm gonna have to have my wife transfer me some dough. Did you show last night? Hell yeah. Did you? No, I didn't. Oh, I man. Went, oh, hell yeah. It was so good, dude. Was so it? good, yeah. But, uh, like, to be honest, I forgot. Ah, <laughs> uh, it sucks. County. Hell yeah, Rice Krispie. Thank you, guys. Shit. I never said I was the best cop watcher. I'm actually one of the worst, guys. I need help on this shit. Press On, in my opinion, is one of the best cop watchers out there. Or Press Harder, actually. That's his channel name now. Um, Yeah, man. What's up, Reluctant Prophet? Oklahoma Outlaw. Our guy, Brooke, everybody, thank you guys for all your support, man. That deputy in the driver's seat right there, he always seems to have a good attitude with me. He doesn't try to violate my rights. I definitely appreciate that. I'm sure if his supervisors told him to go arrest me, though, he would. <laughs> Erie County, hell yeah. Hey, if you guys can, share this on your community pages, man. Anybody that has a channel, would, that shit helps, man. I'm being shadow banned like a mofo, but that's all right. I don't know. Got motherfucking two tall Jones over here. I know acorns were hurt in the making of this video. So, How hey, you doing? We're all cool with the video and all that kind of yeah. stuff, guys. Um, just keep a little bit of distance, not like right on top of the cars because we have detainees and stuff like that. I'll like, try to maintain some of their privacy. I, I, they're having a bad day. I didn't so jump I, on top of the car. I'm not saying jumping on top of the oh. car. I mean like real, 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 super close, okay? It's just a safety risk for my guys, for the detainees. Sometimes it fires them up. Sometimes when they're videoed, they twist off on us and, and when they're already having a bad day. Yeah, I always I always uh, give you guys a you good thing to speak. You guys so have I, never had a problem with me? I appreciate it. Oh uh, yeah, name and real quick. Uh, Colbert 888. I uh, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Give um, a good shot of me. 
Yeah, for sure. Wow. Do you got? A, do you have a good side? Uh, not really. <laughs> Cause then you'd have a bad side, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, so from my understanding, you guys are doing a homeless suite. We're doing just a clean up this area, brother. Does the Fourth Amendment still apply? You guys just can't come out and ID someone, right? Searching for drugs. If, they're, if they have probable cause, we can absolutely do so. Yeah, if they're breaking the law, uh, which a lot of this stuff is breaking the law, the public nuisance. There's several penal codes, several business codes, several governor codes, and several county ordinances that, that they're in violation of currently. So we're just trying to clean up this area. Right. I got to get with these guys over and take care. He had a crazy demeanor about him. Trying to tell me that I was jumping on the cars and then he said he didn't tell me I was jumping on the cars. What kind of double talking jive ass shit is that? He arrived in that truck right there. You heard that? You heard him jive me about uh, the Fourth Amendment and and all kinds of stuff that that there's ordinances being violated and stuff like that. That's double talking jive for hell yeah we're fucking violating people's Fourth Amendment rights. We're doing the jump out boy stuff right here. That's body cam talk. That's right. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Hey, do you guys pick up trash as well? Just like that's hanging out on the floor? We do. Yeah. You guys like, if you see a pile somewhere, you guys just, you guys will pick it up? Do you have to get a call to pick it up? Or if you see it, can you just pull over and grab it? If you see it, you can pull over and grab it? Hey, I appreciate you giving me your name, as a matter of fact, man. That other guy over there didn't want to do it. I don't know why. Must be shy or embarrassed of his job or something, guys. He's wearing a Boston hat over here in uh, California. So he's a fan of sports. Fan of sports. Sports fan. I call it all a distraction, guys. I don't know, Jack Blue Doug, Santa Paula. I'll go out there if you got a story for me. If any of you guys have stories for me that you want me to follow up on and, and go ask questions and get some records, you guys send me some uh, some emails and uh, let me know where you guys want me to go, what you want me to ask for, um, how they treat you in certain installations, certain agencies. Um, I want to get better at this, guys. Uh, I definitely have been an amateur at this. I'm no professional by any means. I never said I was the best. Never been the biggest channel doing this. I'm fine where I'm at, y'all. But I want to get better at this. I want to learn how to do this and shit the right way. So you guys let me know where to go, what to look for, what to ask for, what records you'd like to get. Shit. I'm your guy. I'm your guy. Oh yeah, guys, smash that like button if you haven't yet. That shit helps. Lucinator, hell yeah. Long time supporter, guys. You are the OG and sensei to most of us. I don't know. I am no master. Oh, 
Man, thank you, Lucinator69. I seen that. Did you catch it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you guys definitely got to check out Nate's case. Are you live as well? I, I just cut it off. You cut it off? Yeah. Hey, Nate's case was live, guys. Make sure you check out his live stream. He's got some pretty good footage over there as well. He just shut it down. Now you're doing great. Wish I was you. <laughs> no, you do not wish you were me. I stand about five foot four. You know, I'm short, but I stand tall. I mean... My first girlfriend was like six foot tall, so I had to reach <laughs> way up there to hug her while we were walking together. I mean, come on, guys. You know how embarrassing that shit was? I still did it, though. I was like, come on, babe. Let's walk. Let's walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys. Shit. Shout out, man. Nate's case related, too. He went out to uh, the concert with me last night. We had a hell of a good time, dude. Hell of a good time. Uh, Reg Christie said he's introducing uh, his kids to your favorite band, Blink-182. <laughs> Man, Nate's fucking 20 years old, and that's still his favorite band, guys. Since he was, like, hella small, he'd been listening to them. He goes to their concerts and shit, buys their albums and merch. He's a, he's a fan, y'all. He's a fan. <clears throat> There's another truck that popped that way, a truck. I wonder if he's gonna fucking... Do you wanna go out that way and see where he's at? Do you wanna go here? He turned into like a... Uh, I think the gas station or the next... Look at, there's another deputy coming this way too. You see him over there, guys? Almost fucking causing an accident. He wants to hear Uncle Lou? You know what I'm gonna do after I'm done? I'm short on funds, guys. I really don't have money right now to be going out and buying extra shit. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go home after we're done here. I'm gonna grab a bag, because we buy our dog food from Costco, so we get like the big bag. And we just bought a bag like a couple days ago. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go grab some dog food from the house and grab treats, because I buy, I stock up on treats as well. Uh, Sam Joaquin, you heard my, you seen my channel before? I, I think I've seen it. I just want to watch it. Yeah. Right yeah, it's live right now. Yeah. Check this out. Thank you. All right, thank you, bro. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go stock up. I'm going to go grab some stuff for them. Grab some dog food, some treats, and bring it back. And hook that lady up because I think she's got their dogs. And it's kind of fucked up. Poor dogs and shit. Hey, you see the cops come this way? Yeah, but they gone. They gone? Where'd they go? They went on one strike. They only, they had, they, they only asked somebody a question and they left. What's that? They only asked somebody a question and they left. Hey, did they fuck with you guys? No. No? no. They're doing a homeless thing, so they're violating people's, looks to me like they're violating people's Fourth Amendment rights and just jamming them up yeah, for warrants. That's, that's like they're taking their stuff over. Yeah, I've seen that. They put it in the trash. They should put it in the trash. I know, it's fucked up, huh? Yeah, check, check out my channel with your, with your I friends. I thought I was going to ask you what channel Yeah, check us out. And uh, we report police. You can always yeah, report police. Yeah, I know y'all. I know. Uh, that's why I was going to ask you what channel you on. Yeah, for sure. I'm for the uh, log in right now. Hell yeah. Check us out. We're live right now, as a matter of fact. I know you're here. Oh, yeah. Have a good night. That's all I was like, why? <laughs> Hello.
schools are all going around for homeless people to jack to mess with. <laughs> You guys see him right there in front of me? If it's true what that deputy said earlier that if uh they're breaking all kinds of ordinances and they can jam them up and check their id and search their belongings if it's true what he said why the fuck did they not do that shit a long time ago what right why the fuck did they not do that a long time ago? Because this place has gone to shit. And in, since 2020, we've seen that, uh, I don't, since 2020, we've seen a massive rise, like 80% of more homeless people in Bakersfield. So this shit fucking wasn't just overnight. This shouldn't this just happen or did they create some new ordinance? And that deputy to Todd Jones, Colbert, I think was his name. He, the first thing he did, what the first sentence, the first thing he said to me was an absolute lie. He said, he said I was jumping on the cars. And I was like, hey, I didn't jump on the car. He's like, I didn't say you jumped on the car. I was like, you just said I jumped in the car. You liar. Following these fools everywhere they go. I'm fat right now, guys, so I can use the walk anyways. I've been gaining some weight. Damn, I'm not even kidding. But I'm losing it right now. <laughs> I'm losing it right now. On a TV show or what? No, nah, I got a YouTube channel. We record right cops. On. Oh shit! We found we found the hangout spot, guys. Let's go. Not very many bootlickers out today, guys. Everybody's waving hi to me. I can appreciate that. Let's get him. Oh, they're leaving. They're leaving, guys. I think they're leaving. Don't let me speak too soon for the wheel is still in spin. Damn, I thought that fool was a woman from... I thought that was a female deputy right there from, from back there. But it's a male. Oh, shit. Are they jamming somebody else up?
He's uh, he's probably. He's not gonna be there. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's coming. Hey, mind if I get all your names and badge numbers right quick? Deputy Barlow, 1644. 1644? Yes, 1479. 1479, Nunez? Lopez, 1639. 1639, Nunez? 1304. 1304? 1623. 1623, I appreciate it. Yep. Right. Are you guys just asking questions for people? Do you guys. I, my understanding you guys are doing like a homeless sweep? Um, just, just talking to people. So Fourth Amendment still applies, right? Yeah. Right. You guys have body cams on? Yeah, to everyone. Fourth Amendment applies to everyone. Uh, you guys turning on the body cams when you guys approach someone? Huh? You guys are turning on the body cams when you approach someone? Depends if it's an active investigation. All right. Thank you. All right. I'm just out here to document and ask questions, guys. This guy's gonna try to do a uh, Austin Powers. Hey, you gonna try to pull an Austin Powers or what? <laughs> you gonna try to pull an Austin Powers or what? <laughs> yeah. Looks like he's gonna try to pull an Austin Powers, guys. Boom. Austin Powers it is, guys. <laughs> They're laughing at my Austin Powers joke. Oh, there's no uh, exit that way. Are they gonna pull some kind of checkpoint around here or some shit? <clears throat> Damn, so they're just pulling up to everybody out here and just jump talking to them and shit. You seen they left that guy alone as I walked up, man. Give me a one if you think I saved that guy's ass. Leave me a one, guys, if you think I saved that guy from an unlawful arrest. Fourth Amendment violation. I think we saved that guy's ass. How's it going, sir? How's, how, how you doing, man? Good. So, you guys are doing like a homeless sweep or something? Not a homeless sweep. It's more of like this has been an area where people have been complaining about a lot. So. Word. Fourth Amendment still applies though, right? Absolutely. You guys can't just do the jump out boys and say, hey man, let me see your papers. No. Got any there, drugs on you? No, there needs to be a legitimate reason for a stop like anything else. So, for yeah, sure. we're, we're not violating. I talked to Colbert, uh -huh. I think the supervisor. Yeah. And uh, he said that there's like a whole bunch of ordinances that they were violating and that's why they were able to search him and stuff like that. But it makes me wonder if that was true, wouldn't, the or wouldn't, wouldn't you guys have done that a long time ago? Yeah, it's just sometimes we have, when we have the resources like right now, we can actually put something together to like, focus on the things that we should be able to focus on if we had full staffing if that makes sense Word. so like if we had full staffing absolutely we'd, we'd be doing this all over the place everywhere it's just sometimes during the day i mean we get like hundreds of calls pending Word. it gets kind of hard sometimes yeah the radio is going crazy today yeah especially today too today was a busy one but yeah. Did, were you eating in your car no you dropped the french fry on your sleeve man <laughs> <laughs> there it is, dude. You ever gonna work for your Chevrons? You gonna try to get your Chevrons? I got my Chevrons. I just gotta wait ten more days. That's it. What? Ten more days. For two Chevrons or three? Two. Two? Yeah. Word, man. One question hey. before I before I uh I know the question too. I know you know the question, know but the question. before I let you go on your way, uh the five points of the First Amendment. See you got you got the freedom of religion, freedom of press, freedom to uh assemble against government. That's three of them, right? Three. Mm. Obviously, the, your your freedom of speech and freedom of religion. Religion, speech, press, yep. assembly. There's one more. One more. I thought I said it. No. You mentioned four. I was waiting for the uh, fifth one because that's one the one everybody misses. So you got the freedom of the press. Press. Is that is that it? No, that's not it. Okay, press. Press. 
religion, religion, assembly, assembly, uh, freedom of speech, speech. One more. I don't know. Five, I four, three, two, one. I can't remember. Petition. Dude. Petition. That's what it is. I don't remember <laughs> that one. Come on, give me your shit rolls back, bro. I, I, <laughs> I'll never think of that one, bro. Hell yeah. All right, dude. How, how long you been on the force? Six years? Six years? Yeah. All here in Bakersfield? Yeah. You like it? I love it, dude. Yeah? It's fun. You ever violate anybody's rights? No. Hell no. Nah, not, no. Not at least that you'll admit on camera. <laughs> uh, no, dude. I, I, I respect the job that we do. I respect. I have a lot of respect for people. Word. So that's that's what I do. That's what I want to that's, hear, that's man. You're not, just, you're not just jiving me, are you? No, no. Absolutely not. Cool, cool. That's, that's how... I feel like that's how you get further in life. It's not just in this job, but that's how you get further in life. The Word. more respect you have for people. Word. And people have respect back for you. True. So. Name and badge number real quick. Moreno, 1467. I met you before, right? Yeah, I think you were over at uh, Riverview Park when we were talking to that dude with the bat. Keep up the great attitude, man. Appreciate I appreciate that, you, bro. Absolutely. All right. All right. Have a good night. You too. America's occupying army. Liar, liar, pants on fire, smirks when he lies. <laughs> that guy can't fucking bullshit none of you guys. Hell no. Not you guys. You guys are sharp. I'm dull as fuck. You want to know why I'm dull, guys? Put two pencils together, right? Sharpen one of them. Sharpen both of them. And use one of them. The one that does all the work is the one that gets dull. And that's what I've become, guys. I'm tired as fuck. I'm getting old. Shit. But I keep doing it, man. Man, I'll probably be 100 years fucking old with the camera in my hand recording cops. Shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Assembly and petition are separate. That's right, guys. Walking the streets of Bakersfield. Hey, you guys... You guys type this in on your YouTube search, uh, the social distortion, and the song is called Bakersfield. They came to Bakersfield last night, but they didn't play that song, man. I was disappointed, but nonetheless, it was one hell of a show. I remember sitting there in the crowd, and I'm gonna share an embarrassing moment with you guys, all right? Bear with me and try not to cry or get teary-eyed because I held my fucking tears last night when I was sitting there. I was like, damn. As much as I wanted to come see Social Distortion in concert as a kid, I could never afford that shit. I was always doing bad. Fuck, I would work hard, minimum wage. I was like, I had kids when I was young. I just, it was like impossible. Every time they came, I was doing bad. I just didn't have the money to go see them. And I was just fucking disappointed because it was one of my favorite bands. And I found out that, uh, and then when Mike Ness, when they said he had cancer, they diagnosed him. I was like, damn, I'm never going to get to see them. And then, out of nowhere, found out that they were performing. Man, I bought tickets right away. And as I was sitting there, I was like, damn, man. Mike Ness made a speech about um, having cancer and how he fought it. And uh, he said he wrote a song the day before. He's like, I just wrote the song. I just wrote the lyrics yesterday. You guys want to hear it? And I was like, yeah. And then he sang the song song is called warn me it's basically saying like warn me if it's my time to go you know like i was like damn what a beautiful moment i sat there and i was just like what a life man from being broke to being able to afford fucking concert tickets but yeah guys lately my channel's been hit not doing so well so now i gotta tidy up some things and not spend any more money but that's all right I'm a survivalist, folks. Been broke before many years of my life. I got, I got some things going on. Have a great night. <laughs> one boot liquor. I have one boot liquor. He's fucking dogged me. And I waved at him and just fucking turned and, and, and nodded like, no. <laughs> what an asshole. Oh, damn. They take, did they take the dogs or what? Huh? Yeah, they found them. Damn, that's fucked up. Damn, 
this sucks, guys. <laughs> yeah, no shit, huh? Jug of glasses. <laughs> That's a true statement right there. One thing I've noticed recently, guys, is it's not just the uh, Kern County Sheriff's Department, but it's the Bakersfield Police Department as well. And uh, I'm not sure if I've seen this from the California Highway Patrol yet, but they didn't used to do this before. If you were arrested, they're the ones that threw you in the car and took you back to the station. They did all the report writing, right? But now I see a lot of uh, people getting arrested and they call in a transport vehicle to take you to, take you to the jail. But... I mean, I've been seeing that from uh, both agencies around here. <clears throat> they were jamming up some dude over there in the alley, and I walked up and they let him go. <laughs> yeah. So they're they're basically pulling up to everyone, just jamming people up and shit. Say anything to you? Nah, all the all the deputies out here are being fucking cool with me. The only one I think that wasn't as cool was uh, Colbert, the the That's... too tall Jones. Um, he was like trying to. The first thing he said was a damn lie. He oh, said, yeah. "Don't be jumping on the cars." I was like I didn't jump on the cars. I didn't say you jumped on the cars. Like you just said, I jumped on the cars. <laughs> what the fuck? Double talking jive, too tall Jones and shit. You can just drive around here all night. That's what it looks like, huh? They're fucking jamming they're, everyone up. They're no, but homegirl that just picked up the dogs is gonna go get herself a coffee at Starbucks. She took the dog pound vehicle through the drive-thru, guys. She's gonna get coffee on text on our dime. Oh, oh that's yeah. Hey, is there another one that way? Where they got to pick up trash? Yeah. Yeah. This right here, folks, is what a police state looks like. So many laws and so many ordinances to keep the people down and broke. So much bullshit. You know, the whole minimum wage thing. Fucking, it's just a lot that goes into it. And there's a reason why there's a bunch of homeless people. And it's not because that's just fucking human nature, right? A lot of shit goes down and we end up getting, you know, these types of things, you know, like I understand you're, you're a lazy motherfucker. You don't want to work. And you just want to be fucking using drugs and drink alcohol in the streets. Yeah, that's like that's a fucked up thing. But damn, man, like shit, even rich people living in fucking big giant houses get fucked up, like seriously jacked up on pills steroids all kinds of shit out there yeah as long as you're not bothering no one right i mean oh shit that homeless person he's bothering my eyes let's call the cops on him right they're bothering my eyes guys let's go let's go fuck with him look 
Cherries and berries. We've got cherries and berries, guys. I run fast for my age. I'm kind of fat right now, guys. But I'm not nearly as fat as that guy. Damn, they even got the chopper out, guys. Like trying to spot homeless people. Damn. This shit looks like fucking straight predatory police work, guys. Give me a one in the comment section if you think this is predatory police work. Yeah, 69. The number 69 is number one for Lucinator, guys, just so you know. <laughs> Hilarious. He's gonna try to put the bike inside. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, guys. This, to me, looks like it's straight predatory policing, man. Just getting out. Like, when I walked when I ran, walked around the uh, back of the stores, they were jamming homeboy up. As soon as I got there, they are like, yeah, you can go. I can almost guarantee you they're about to go in that dude's pockets and shit, demand identification. The, the, uh, the heavy set uh, deputy right there was saying something about He's not gonna be from here. He's gonna be from out of town or something like that. And I was like, "Wow, dude!" Like, so they're like, "Yeah, you're you're an undesirable, <laughs> basically, right?"
Hey, did I get your name and badge number yet? Chris. What was it? Perez. Perez? You didn't give me your badge number, Perez. But at least I know your name. All they're doing, guys, is just driving around looking for people to fucking pull over and harass, dude. This is... I mean, I want to see the, clean, the streets cleaned up, but not like this. You see what I'm saying? Like, let's figure out a way to clean up the streets without fucking violating people's Fourth Amendment rights. Yeah, uh, Bay Area Transparency is good, guys. Don't worry about him. He's a big boy. He doesn't wear diapers. He doesn't need a pacifier. Grown ass motherfucking man. But he's good. He takes a lot. He takes a lot of breaks, guys. No, but I, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm not giving you guys a hard time. Uh, I know you guys are concerned, and I definitely appreciate you guys. I hope you guys look out for me when I'm fucking missing and shit. Start asking around. Come to Bakersfield. Bay Area Transparency. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he, he takes long breaks, guys. He's good. I'll, but I'll tell you what, man. I'll shoot him a text tomorrow morning and uh, I'll just ask how he's doing. Just, I'll go say hello to the bat. Is that why he calls himself the bat? Bay Area Transparency? He disappears. <laughs> yeah, Nate says, is that why he calls himself the bat? Because he disappears and comes back later? <laughs> <clears throat> yes. <laughs> I'm in Bakersfield, California, guys. I am in Bakersfield, California. I wonder if the cops fucked with this guy. They haven't. They want to. Hey, bro, did the cops harass you? Did the cops harass you? Did they ask you any questions? They're going around fucking checking people for warrants and IDs and searching their belongings so yeah I might if, if I were you I'd probably get lost from the area just for now bro they probably haven't seen you but they've been fucking circling around here non-stop jamming people up just dude. happened across the street yeah just happened <laughs> across the street <laughs> they're doing it right now so we're recording so. hey bro maybe stash your shit somewhere and just take a fucking walk bro Always looking out for the people, folks. Always looking out for the people. We should actually walk with the guy, huh? Yeah, we should walk with them. That way the cops won't fuck with them. Cops are talking to these people. Right? Who? By the truck. Well, they're part of the fucking whole fucking thing. Where are these fools at? Where? The cops? Yeah, they're fucking all out here, dude. Cop blocking, guys. That's the supervisor. Not supposed to be smoking on the job, Colbert. Is that right? Yeah. It's a policy violation. It's not a fact, bud. 
Go turn yourself in immediately. <laughs> I'm gonna my shift, buddy. Let me finish out here. <laughs> you guys like that one? Hit that thumbs up if you like that one. Who got caught? Hey, even if you're off shift, it's still a policy violation because you guys are in uniform. Are you sure about that? I'm absolutely positive. Take care of it, man. You don't care? I didn't say I don't care, man. Uh, I didn't hear you, man. I didn't say I don't care. Appreciate it, man. Have a good night. Yeah, you too, man. I just want to hold you guys to the same standards you guys hold the people. You know what I'm saying? You guys have a policy. We have to follow the law. You guys have to follow policy, man. Straight up. Have a good night now. I'm already having one, Colbert. I'm trying to slap on a filter that allows me to see better, guys. Not that one. I can't see shit. There's no, like, fucking night. Um, Oh yeah, Vondra, you're welcome. I already got his ID. It's uh, Colbert. He's uh, a supervisor out here on scene. He's what? Go that way, check it out. Look at Colbert. <clears throat> hey, we're just doing the same thing you guys are doing, just going around the area. I don't care. Is he okay? I, mean, I saw him running. What do you Is mean? Okay? Your partner, he, he was running. Is he okay, though? Uh, he's, he's his own man. I don't answer those types of questions. He keeps saying have a good night like if something about me says I'm having a bad one. Do they have someone over there? No, huh? <clears throat> Take me a little break right here, guys, on the rock. Damn, that light's uh, getting in my way. Let me see if I can cover the light with homeboy's head right there. <laughs>
I may be on public property, but I haven't asked. I haven't been asked to leave. If uh, if I'm asked to leave, then I'll leave. But sometimes, you know, this is why our channels are important because um, you guys think that we're just out here being assholes and messing with cops, but they got, you know, there's there's laws, guys. You know, trespassing laws still apply. You know, um, Fourth Amendment still applies. They can't just become jump out boys and fucking harass whoever they want. Check everyone for ID. All the undesirables. I mean, I know that's kind of how they keep upscale areas. Um, you know? Where did Nate's case go? Probably went around. Probably went to go follow the other cop and then came around. Unless they snatched them up and left with them. I hope not. He's still puffing, look. You're still smoking, man. Unbelievable. Cops, like cops violating uh, policy? There's nothing better than that, bro. I mean, look at Fox. Look at look at uh, cops on the show Fox, right? They had tons of views, but they were kind of biased. They made a lot. They made it seem like you guys could do absolutely nothing wrong. Right, yeah, man. I go around the corner and you start smoking again after you've been I told. Stop, man. After you've been told it's a policy violation. Okay. Still smoking, guys. Look, let's zoom in on that shit. Still smoking. Turning the uniform into a costume, bro. All you need is some big red shoes, a red nose. You're turning it into a costume. Stop smoking while you're in uniform. Man, putting it out. Hey, man, you've always had a good attitude with me. And I appreciate it, but let's not do that no more, man. It's a policy violation. What's your name and badge number? That's Manya, 1123. 1123, guys. Smoking while in uniform. And he fucking put it out on the tire, guys. Yeah, that's crazy. You see that? That shit almost blew up in his fucking face. <laughs> that shit almost peeled his skin back and left it all a bloody skull right there for us to view. I don't know. Hey, you guys be careful. The cops are jamming everybody up right here, right now. They're just jumping out, uh, checking ID, uh, making sure you guys don't have warrants, fucking searching for drugs and weapons. What happened? The area right here, cops are fucking just it's harassing people. It yeah, it's a fourth amendment violation. Yeah, you guys be careful. Hey, if they stop you guys, start recording. Here, let me give you my, my card so you guys can see what we do. Okay. Are you guys together? No. No, here, there's one for you. Oh, yeah, we record the police. Yeah, we record that the police. Harassment. Yeah, it is harassment. Yeah, they're oh, that's why they're so <laughs> thick right now. Huh? Yeah, they're thick. They're, they're fucking jump. They're like doing the jump out, boys. 
This is jamming everyone up. Hey, you guys pull out your phones and start recording them if they, if they jump up. Looks like I know I can't I will. Yeah, I will. Yep. Hey, be careful. The cops are harassing everyone around the area, man. They're demanding they're demanding ID, checking pockets and shit. Really? Yeah, there seems to me like they're violating people's Fourth Amendment rights. They are? Yeah, so just careful, bro. They started that since they Yeah. Yeah, I know, you're right. Yeah. I'm going to tell you to warn you. All right, man. Another cop. They must have found somebody over here because they're driving fast. Right? Officers preaching officer safety while smoking. <laughs>
Oh, that's that wonderful Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury is right there. That one fool that tried to tell me something last time? Yeah. <laughs> what, and what was I telling him last time? Yeah, there's undercovers out here too, guys. You're right. Calling and arresting him for no fucking tags. Does he have a front license plate? He's got a front license plate. Yeah. I wonder if they're going to pound this shit. For sure. We got his name and badge number today? I don't think so. What's up, Fulshin? Good to see you, bro. Oh, they're gonna they're calling someone to come get the tow truck. The tow truck, yeah. Oh, is he gonna let, uh, let somebody take it? I think so. I, I thought that's what they said. So she can, so she can come get it. That's <laughs> funny. New Jersey Watchman could really use some help, man. Send me an email, bro. Uh, send me a video link that you'd like me to share, bro. I remember you um, from way back when. You had they they had messed with you really bad out there. I remember that. Uh, me and Christo at Jersey Watcher used to talk about you, bro. And man, you should link up with Christo if you get a chance out there, man. He's a uh, he just got his channel back. He's out recording and stuff like that. Get out there with Crystal, bro. Link up with him and and, uh, and go out and record with him. <clears throat> so, I don't know if this guy's tags are out or anything. Can we see if the guy's tags are out? Is that why they pulled him over? 22. Well... <clears throat> they obviously pulled this guy over because he didn't have tags on his car.
Yeah, link up to Crystal, Jersey Watcher. Uh, hit him up again, bro. He just got his channel back recently, so if there's a reason probably why he didn't answer you back or anything like that, it's probably because he uh, he wasn't able to do anything. But yeah, man, Crystal definitely has respect for you, bro. We done. We we definitely talked about your work before. Yeah, I got his name earlier. He's a, he's a little bitch. He reluctantly gave me his name and badge number last time. The other deputy is his vehicle is W zero two four eight. They're definitely gonna impound the car. The truck, yeah. Brandon Mitchell in the house. Uh, I don't think so, Darren. I think this is a, uh, they pulled him over for no tags. I don't know why they actually arrested him or took him to jail. Um, yeah, man, it's fucked up. I know it's dark, guys. I know it's hard to see the, the screen, but I am static recording this, so I'll be uploading clips and stuff later on. You guys definitely... On the, on the live stream now? Oh, fuck, you kidding me? This whole fucking time. Thanks, Nate. Well, apparently Nate just showed me how to fucking brighten up the screen <laughs> oh man fucking rookie guys thanks Nate <laughs> possible warrants guys who knows I talked to this deputy in here earlier he has a really good attitude man he stopped and talked to me for a while name gave his name badge number uh, name four out of the five elements for first amendment he's just yeah. yeah, I don't see how hard it is either. Yeah. Yep. Yep. True. True, true. I know. I know. right this is a public service just be professional huh there's like even if you're annoyed just still be professional you know what i mean i mean they're getting paid and they're under policy they're supposed to be professional at all times and this is a public service i watched i think most of your video today of you talking to um, the supervisor out there <clears throat> really good video today bro i shared it on my community post I thought it was a good informative video. You're doing good work, bro. Not, not yet. I'm going to try and get it. brother thank you for all the tremendous work you do bro and all the support you've shown me throughout the the deputy in the in that's sitting inside the cruiser i got his name earlier i actually spoke to him for a little while you can rewind it and check that out um so i already got his name and badge number uh the other uh deputy that's standing up talking to him i don't think i've gotten his name and badge number yet so i'm gonna try and get his before he gets out of here
For officer safety, he shouldn't be standing in the middle of the road, right? We're <laughs> they always talk about officer safety, but he's in the middle of the road. You're right. <laughs> Imagine how they tell their families how tired they are after work. <laughs> They're sitting on their ass all day. <laughs> Get on that way, Cartiff News, Pinchy Way. <laughs> hey, out here in California, you call a motherfucker away, you guys are throwing chingasso away. Uh, Roy Groves asks, uh, have you ever considered applying for the force and do your work from the inside instead of on the streets? I'll let the comment section answer that for you, bro. <laughs> that shit is elementary around here. But I will give you an example. There was a video that I shared where a female cop tried to stop the other cop from uh, harassing a woman. And they didn't do nothing to... They didn't do nothing to, uh, to the, the bad cop. They, uh, they reprimanded the, the, the female that tried to intervene. So if that whole, that whole uh, propaganda statement that if you want to change things, why don't you apply for a job as a cop and do it from the inside? That doesn't work, man. It, it sounds nice and it sounds, you know, like a refreshing thought, but it's, uh, it's, it's not, it's, that doesn't happen. It may it used to probably happen like that in the past, but not anymore. It doesn't happen like that anymore. Cops don't even like cops. <laughs> hey, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put a meme tomorrow morning, guys, and you guys are gonna like it. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a meme that explains exactly what what happens. You know, the cops want the people to snitch on each other, right? but they also have a no snitch policy within the department. Just think about that. Not only that, they also have a policy that says that you're not supposed to say anything like to the press or to anyone that'll discredit the integrity of the department. So, I mean, where can you, you will, when you join the department, eventually you're gonna lose your moral compass, bro. I don't know if you get that or not, I don't know if your your if your question is just to throw jabs at what we do, or if you're seriously concerned or, or would like to know. Um, I hope that answers your question because it doesn't always work that way, you know. Bones, bones, bones. Bones says that I'm wrong about policy about cops being able to smoke in public in uniform on duty or off duty we've already established that that they're not allowed to smoke on duty or off duty guys nice try though bones yeah hell yeah guys car thief news was uh, locked up for over a year just got out not too long ago I'm gonna ask him for the other deputy's name real quick man I'm gonna get out of your hair I didn't want to interrupt that guy when he was talking to you but he kind of left really quick do you know his name and badge number which one uh, the one that was just talking to you right now uh, Volmer Volmer all right Volmer V-O-L-M-E-R two L's Two L's? Yeah, he's big, he's big on the two L's. All right. Hey, all right. <laughs> I, I, it's like 15 something. I, I appreciate it, man. Yep. Let's go. 
Vomer. Vomer. The other the, the, the other cop with the hat the, the, the deputy yeah. Vomer with two owls. She's big on that. <laughs> What's Bones got to say now? Page 87, section J. All right, Bones, I'll check it out. I'll check it out. Go subscribe, Nate's Gage and Randy too. Uh, he also has another channel called I Know My Rights. And uh, I gave him one of my other channels called San Joaquin Cop Watch. He works on those channels. You guys go check him out. The kid's been recording cops since he was 14 years old. He's 20 years old now. If you guys want to hear some shit? Check this out, right? A long time ago, I was cop watching and there was this cop and his name is Bihan Garib. <laughs> Alright? Bihan Garib, Bihan Garib would uh, tell me like, he would call out my name. Hey, be careful. Cops are, cops are jamming. Yeah. Alright. Oh, that's, okay. that's you, huh? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. That's her car out there, guys. Fuck, should we go and make sure that they don't fuck with her? <laughs> <laughs> Cop watch isn't over yet, brother. Let's get back to it. Back to work we go. What's up, Utah Cop Watch? Good to see you, bro. Tyler Easy. Damn, they took her man to jail, guys. That's fucked up. They took her man to jail. You need to delete footage of that. Is that room? Yep. Yeah. Safe. 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 Oh yeah, what's up? I say Birdman, San Antonio Birdman. Yeah, Chili's in jail, but he's not my buddy. And even though I don't get along with Chili, because I think he's a fucking garbage human being, um, I still don't believe that what they did to him was right. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Enough said with that. Oh yeah, they let her go. They let her go, they let her go. He's like, baby, can I get your number? <laughs> All right, let's go, they let her take it. She's good, guys. Yeah, yeah, they railroaded Chile. And I, I, I'll say something else. I will say one more thing on that shit. Man up. Stop showing them fucking any kind of weakness. Don't cry. Be a fucking man, dude. Don't fucking... Don't even bow your head down. Don't apologize. Don't write an apology letter. Don't fucking apologize for reporting police. I mean... Calling them a pig inside the court is a little extreme, but fuck it. It's still freedom of speech. Yeah. But yeah, guys, like, when I seen Chili bowing his head down and practically crying, I was like, 
I never felt more of a man in my life. I was like, Psh. bro, I'll get my motherfucking ass kicked in the middle of the road and arrested. I ain't gonna cry. My mom died, I cried. I get arrested and go to jail because the cops are fucking punk. I ain't gonna cry, man, because that's not a prosecution, that's a persecution. I don't get along with Chile, we bumped heads. And what they did to him was wrong. You would not have seen me fucking crying with my head down, dude. I'd have been smiling, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I'll tell you something else about jail, guys. They don't want motherfuckers like me in jail because I'm gonna come out walking fucking with a bunch of activists. I'm gonna teach them how to fucking make money on YouTube, teach them how to record the police, show them about software, editing techniques, fucking... We'll all brush up on the law in there, shit. I'll walk out with a bunch of fucking activists. General population, folks. That's where they'll see me. Thank you, NJ Watchman. Man, thank you all you guys for all the fucking love you guys show me. Twitch says I'm gonna be a prison wife. <laughs> homie. Nice. You don't need to go to be, you don't need, homie doesn't need to go to prison to be a wife. He'll just be a wife out here in the streets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, buddy. <laughs> hey guys, Twitch. Uh, he's, he's, he's somebody's wife. Out here in the streets. Huh? Oh yeah, Blue Steel, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, they fucking bought it. That, that used to be uh, Milt's. That coffee shop right there, folks, that you see in front of me, that shit had the best fucking biscuits and gravy in town. But it looks like they sold it. Hey, careful, the cops are fucking with people, bro. Yeah. Mommy said thank you. <laughs> he said, I know, thank you. He's fucking, he's like, I'm out of here. <laughs> he's like, what do you think I'm getting out of here for? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn, car thief news. That sucks, bro. Rogue Nation in the house. Hey, Rogue Nation. I heard me and you were competing to be Rice Krispies' best friend. What's up, bro? Hey, careful. Okay? The, yeah, careful. The cops are out here fucking with people, bro. I know. What? Just be careful. Yes. Hey, I would fucking so take off from the area if I could. So, no. 50. How much? Oh. Dang, I'm off going to shake my hand. But that fool had fucking... Scabs all over his face and shit. Damn. Hey, careful. Cops are out here messing with people. Cops are out here messing with everyone, bro. They're searching people for warrants, all kinds of shit. Look, guys, the guy said, fuck that. I'm coming. Huh? What's that? What, what, what was that? I don't, bro. I don't smoke cigarettes. You don't smoke weed? Yeah, weed's better. <laughs> yeah, careful out here, man. Cops are fucking. Yeah, true. I would, I would just fucking just take off from the area, bro. There's a, I don't know. You can't go to the park and they fuck with you. Yeah, it is, but it's already night. So. Oh! Who's looking for you? What the fuck? Hey, you guys, you guys, be careful. The cops are messing with people out here. They're jamming everybody up in the area right now. <laughs> They're violating people's Fourth Amendment rights. They're searching hey, IDs. Allie. Yeah, you guys be careful out here. Hey, yeah, if you guys if you guys get a room, post up all night.
For having a cart? Yeah, because no it's stupid. Damn. Go on the bus. I got my dude. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm live, but I'm not I'm not facing too. I'm just, I'm, oh, hey, I'm trying to let everybody know around here. Be they careful, cuz. That's what I'm trying to find. Yeah, definitely stash it for now, bro. But be careful because they got the trucks and trailers and they're snatching up people's shit too. Yeah, I'm not fucking kidding. Yeah, they're fucking violating the Fourth Amendment. The Fourth Amendment is uh, to protect you from uh, unlawful search and seizures in your in your papers, effects, and property. So, yeah, just be careful. Yeah, the Fourth Amendment. It seems like they're violating people's Fourth Amendment rights to be secure in your papers and effects. To not have, not like the Gestapo where they jump out and say, let me see your papers. Oh. You have any warrants? Absolutely do not. ID. And if they fucking pull you over. Hey, what they did to us, they was wrong. Well, do any of you guys have a phone? No. Even if it doesn't work, you guys don't have one? Oh, I have my Damn, make, like I would. Oh, pretend I would you pretend you're recording. Absolutely. Really? Pretend you're recording. That won't yeah. get them Even mad. if you're not. You guys were over there that won't get them mad at you? Was. Oh, that's why you have that? Fuck yeah. They weren't, hey, they weren't allowed to do that over there. We nah. were, I was by my buddy Mike yeah. in the parking lot just sitting there eating a the sandwich and they pulled up and searched us. Yeah, that's what they're doing, bro. I'm fucking hungry food in here. I got a little bit of that bread, but nothing else. Hey, good luck to you guys. Keep your eyes open. Hey, you find that motherfucker yet? Nope. Oh, shit, we went too far. You $500 and a half off of that? Hey, I don't, I'm, hey. I'm broke as a joke right now. Hey, I'll give you my card. If you guys get on the phone, follow us on YouTube. You guys could do the same thing. Thank you. Yeah. At this point, my fucking card could be worth more than money because people have learned how to protect themselves from predatory policing and shit. Predatory policing, yeah. Oh, what a night. We're just trying to clean up Homer City around here, right? Yep. gonna shut this one down guys if Man, we do we see some more cherries and berries an hour and a half yeah almost two hours i think so if we see some cherries and berries we're gonna go live again thank you guys for tuning in much love everyone we ran them all out the neighborhood